As we enter into a post-COVID-19 world, our practice of youth development through youth involvement has become key in assisting young people transition from life standing still, quarantine in their homes or places of shelter, to a world where they're truly being asked to pretend to be normal, to come out but be socially distant, to wear a mask but don't breathe, to operate in imaginary bubbles of space but don't burst it, where smiles are hidden by masks and hugs no longer exist. We worked with over 100 youth this spring and summer on a 100% virtual platform. And here is a glimpse of their new normal. Hello everybody, my name is Ali Samoa. Hi, my name is Angeli Stokes, but I prefer Angie. Hey, it's Jemaya. Hi everyone, my name is Amina Khalifa. Hi, my name is Jonathan Rosales. Hello, my name is Enrique Rodriguez. Hi, my name is Miriam Ibrahim. My name is Brashe Drayton, but most people call me Bree. Hi, my name is Leslie Vasquez. Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Fernandez. Hi, my name is Nicholas Valar. Hi, my name is Tatiana. My name is Joey Mignetti. Uh, you can call me Jojo for short. Uh, my friends call me Joey Salad for stupid reasons. My name is Anthony Richardson, and this is my quarantine cuisine. March 19th, I came back from Syracuse. 111 days inside. 2,664 hours without contact with the outside world. July 9th was my first time outside. Six birthdays missed, four parties skipped. March 12th, diagnosed cases of COVID exceed 1,000. Three metro swipes per day and less weekends, six programs a week of about two hours. Five relatives passed, 10 pounds, 100 clothing items to wash Looking bags. forward to April 15th. Three tournaments canceled, eight practices missed, Looking forward to May 15th. March 15th, schools shut down. March 17th, Trump delivered his final briefing for the month, laced in lies and self-praise as always. My family, however, stocked up on food. Eight hours of school, at least five days a week. No Three drive-bys done, 11 TikToks made, 65 pictures printed, two vacations canceled. Doesn't look like we're coming back. March 22nd, my doctor's office closed and I missed 21 appointments since then. 17 years of normal, 12 days and 17, normal was non-existent. Everything before stop, March 13th, my school closed, about 20 Zoom calls a week. August 10th, I'm back in Syracuse, feeling free again. March 23rd, found only one box of gloves and masks locally, no rubbing alcohol. 100 days till phase one, two birthdays missed, one congrats grad drive through. April 1st. I got a runny nose and started to get paranoid about COVID symptoms. July 19th, first time seeing my friends since March. How are you guys? How's everyone feeling? You guys don't seem so excited. That's okay. Just came back from the weekend. I know it's Monday. Great. All right. Thank you all for attending today. Hey, what's good? It's the other meeting. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Good day to all. Um, this is the Black Lives Matter even in Staten Island broadcast. So my name is Elijah Scott and, um, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement um, has been very impactful and, um, and it's been a very strong movement. And um, I'm just proud of everybody who's been stepping up and stuff like that. And, um, and um, also proud of the youth. If we, if we really want peace and unity in a post Black Lives Matter world, then everyone has to have equal rights and equal treatment. The LGBTQ community has, has been attacked for so many reasons, but the key reason has to do with their sexuality and gender. A discussion about the differences and challenges faced by this community could create empathy and Understand. Uh, one topic I felt should be added to our curriculum is the discussions of All Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter. I think criminal justice should be considered in all school curriculums. One topic we should cover is police brutality and why is it wrong. A topic that that I think this should be included in the curriculum is um, government funding. Okay. You just move your camera down a little bit. So okay. There you go. Would help understand the government relationship with our community. One thing that I might miss, like, like before COVID, uh, is like the feel of uh, going to school 
but just traveling. The early days of COVID-19 gave the Staten Island Urban Center the opportunity to self-examine our programming and be forward-focused in our thinking as we entered into this new normal of virtual communications while the world stood still and social justice issues raged. Our participants use art and commentary to process all that is going on in the world. They read, they wrote, they created art, they broadcasted, they took action. Young people handed out PPE and food, discussed ideas and dreams for a post-Black Lives Matter world, created and curated art as self-expression and self-preservation, and they shared their techniques of survival, having to step up by cooking, handling isolation, taking care of family. In the midst of these times, we need to support young people because they have a quest. In 1992, John Bess, a mentor and scholar of youth development, told young people that the future and rebuilding of America is totally in their hands. Our generation and previous generations have failed to win the battles over racism, miseducation, unemployment, and social deterioration. We have not provided the leadership, vision, and strength to protect every human being from starvation, poverty, illicit drugs, crime, and homelessness. Unless you rise up, speak up, act up, and get fired up, our condition will remain the same. You must educate yourself and read extensively, train intensively, strengthen your mind, body, and soul physically, intellectually, and spiritually. You must do all that is necessary to prepare yourself to survive and eliminate the violence. You must strive to secure your position of power and importance in order to serve and assist our brothers and sisters, friends and community. You must master the art of the positive to unlock the key to eliminate greed, cruelty, brutality, and domination. Creating positive change is power. Learning is power. Doing is power. Helping is power. Action is power. Teaching is power. Changing is the power.